In this video, we're going to look at delegates, and we're going to look at how we can use delegates to better architect our games, and in this particular case, we're going to use delegates to allow all of the objects in our scene that care to register for an event. So what I have here is a, a very simple game where I have uh, just a bunch of different enemies uh, strolling around my scene, and the different enemies have this enemy script that's attached to all of them. And so I also have, in my environment, I have a single copy of this scene controller script. And uh, if we open up these scripts real quick, the enemy script, um, when it started up, it assigns a sort of randomized health and attack to the enemy. And then what I want to be able to do is I want to be able to power up all of the enemies in my game. Um, so maybe the mechanic in my game is that the longer you take to kill the enemies, the more powerful they become. Or maybe we have um, some time of day things, that the enemies become stronger at night and weaker during the day, something like that. But I want to go in and I want to apply this change to every enemy in my scene. Now, using the tools we already have, we could certainly do this. Uh, we just take our scene controller script, we add a, a public array, and then we drag our enemies one by one into that array. But, you know, I've already got a couple dozen enemies, and, you know, maybe I have a scene where I'm going to be generating more, maybe I'm going to have hundreds of enemies. It's just really not the most efficient way to do this. So we're going to solve this problem using delegates and a singleton. And so if we take a look at our scene controller script here, I've set this up with a very simple singleton. And the, the magic, the way that singletons work, is that we have this line right here, and that's really what a singleton is all about. So we have a public and we have a static variable, and it's of the same type as the class that it's contained in, and we just call it instance, we could call it whatever we want. And then when our awake function fires off, we set instance equals to this. And this, this is a, a keyword, that's why it's in blue, this just means the instance of this script. So this in that code means this scene controller script that's attached as a component to the environment. So during the awake function, we set the instance equal to this, and then what we can do is any other script in the scene can access the scene controller without having to have a, a reference to it dragged into a public variable, without having to do any find methods, so having to do, you know, find objects of type scene controller. It can just call capital scene controller dot instance, and it has identically this a uh, single script that's been attached to this particular game object. So that's half of it. And then the other half is that we are going to use uh, a delegate to solve this. And so just to run through, I have this update function and basically any time the space key is hit, I want to power up all the enemies. So basically when the space key is hit, I want to call this method on every single enemy in the scene. So how can I do that? With delegates, it's actually really easy. There's only a couple lines of code that we need to add. So we need to start with adding a delegate. And we're going to add that into our scene controller, because the scene controller is going to be the one that's calling it. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to define a delegate. And we can make it public or private. I'll just go ahead and make it private. And it is of type delegate. And then what we put next after these keywords is we put the return type and then the signature of the method that we want to call. So I want to call this power up. So the return type is void and the signature is just whatever I want to name the method and then there's nothing in the, um, the arguments, there's nothing in the parameters. So it's going to be a void and I'm going to call this on, uh, I'm sorry, I'm going to call this uh, power up delegate. And I put semicolon out, or parentheses after that. So I've defined a private delegate, and the delegate sort of signature is that it doesn't return anything, and it doesn't pass anything, and I named my delegate power up delegate. And now that I have defined that type, it's sort of like defining a new class, now I can create a variable, um, and eh, we can make this private as well, and now it is of type power up delegate. So this is a lot like we've defined a class, we've defined this new delegate called power up delegate. And this one I'm going to call on power up. And now that I've defined this, I actually don't have to do any like, you know, equal to new power up delegate or anything like that. I've defined this and I can start using it. So what we want to do is in our enemy script, 
During our start method, we want to register ourselves with the scene controller. Since the scene controller is a singleton, all I have to do is call scene controller dot instance dot and then whatever I want to do. And I want to add myself to this on power up delegate. So I type instance dot on oh and I do need to make this public so we can access it from the other class. So public on power up. And then we just type instance dot on power up and we do plus equal. So we are going to add to this delegate the power up. So we are passing in a method to add to this delegate. And once we have that, the only other thing we need to do is inside of this update function, whenever the space key is called, we just call on power up. And by calling this, everything that has registered itself with the delegate will in turn be called. So we've taken this power up from every enemy in our scene, because every enemy has this same start method, and all of our enemies are going to get that on power up essentially event. So if we pop back over to the scene, um, oh, and one more thing to mention. Um, within the power up, I, I added a git component and I set the material color a little bit darker so we can visually see what's going on here. Um, let's see, and one more thing. Uh, if I'm going to use my power up delegate publicly, I need to declare it publicly. Otherwise, the enemy script has no idea what a power up delegate is. So our definition of our delegate needs to match the delegate itself in terms of accessibility. All right, so everything should be good to go. We'll let this compile. And we don't have to drag anything in the scene. We don't have to drag references on. If we hit play, then every time that I hit space, you're going to see that every enemy in this game, uh, and we'll find a couple different enemy types, is going to get darker, which means that every enemy is receiving that power up event. If we hit it enough, enough times, everything in our scene will go black. So you can imagine that you could use this in your game. Um, say you could have a coroutine going, and every three minutes, the enemies would get slightly harder. And thus, as you're playing the game, you're killing more enemies, your player is leveling up, but the enemies at steady intervals are getting harder, and that creates kind of an interesting dynamic in your game. The faster you kill enemies, the easier the game actually becomes. So again, we solved this problem using two things. We used singletons, and this is sort of the magic line that defines a singleton for my scene controller. And then we used this delegate stuff. We declared a new type of delegate, we declared an instance of our new type, and then we added the method that we wanted to be called to that delegate. So this is definitely something that I suggest you uh, try on your own. There's a, a project included with this, and see if you can start from scratch if you can replicate all this code, and if you can prove to yourself that you understand how to use delegates.